Oh, church, aren't you glad that you know this man named Jesus, that you know this one true God that came to earth in the person of his son, the only God that was jealous and he had no other God beside him. Now, how do we know that? We read the Bible. For there was a man named Philip. There was a man named Thomas. There was a man named Judas. Now, church, open your ears up. We worship the only one true God, almighty God of heaven that created all things. We worship you. Now, this man called Philip, he asked Jesus a question because church, in the beginning, the church worshiped God, but they did not have the God that was in Christ Jesus. But Jesus came to earth and he showed them where this God is that they was worshiping. And we want to worship the only one true God. Jesus came and showed us how to worship this one true living God. And there's a man named Philip. Ask him a question. And it is a good question. And many might ask today. Okay. In John chapter 14, verse 6 through 9. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life, that no man come to the Father but by me. If ye had known me, you should have known my Father also. And henceforth ye know him, and have seen him. And Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, that it may sufficient us. But Jesus said unto him, Have I been with you, uh, and yet thou hast not known me, Philip? He that has seen me has seen the Father. How saith then, show us the Father? Oh, God Almighty, we worship the Lord God Almighty. Now, if you want to know who he is, how can you even ask a question of that? If you know Jesus, you know God. And if you have no Jesus, you have no God. That is true. Any God beside Jesus is false. He will lead you wrong. Run to Jesus, get to know Jesus, and you know God. If you don't know Jesus, you'll never know God. I believe there was a song said one time, and it went something like this. If you don't know me by now, you'll never, never, never know me. Oh, if you don't know God by now, by looking and reading the words of Jesus Christ, I'm afraid you'll never know him. Get to know Jesus. Get to know Jesus. Get to know Jesus. Because when you know Jesus, you have found God. Don't you want to worship the God that you never seen? When when you worship Jesus Christ, you see him. You hear him. He is that one God. The church in the beginning did not know him because they worshiped God on the outside of him. But now Jesus comes along and said, you have seen the Father. Why even ask? Why even ask? Why even ask? Are you asking anymore? Do not ask no more. When you found Jesus at the cross, you have found God. But then there was a man named Thomas. Oh, he knew who Jesus was. Let's see who he said Jesus was. Listen, folk. Listen, people. Listen, church. Let's get to know the one God we're supposed to worship. Okay, in John chapter 20, verse 27 and 28. Then he saith to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold, and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hands, and thrust it into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. And then, guess what Thomas said? Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my God. Oh my God. This was after Jesus resurrected and God showed up. Oh yes, I said God showed up. Because Thomas said when he walked through that room, I won't even believe until I see him. 
but when he seen him, he bowed down and worshiped the only true God, the jealous God, that you should have no other God beside me. I'm a jealous God. But when he touched Jesus' hand, he said, my Lord, my Lord, and my God, my God, my God, get to touch Jesus' hand. Let his hand touch you. Let his hand come upon you and call him Lord God. And there's none else beside him in heaven nor in earth and never will be. Oh, great God, Jehovah is Jesus. Great God. There was a man named Judas. We know about Judas. Let's don't be a Judas. Let's find out what Judas did. Okay, in Matthew chapter 27, verse 3. Then Judas, which had betrayed him, when he saw that the was that he was condemned, repented himself and brought again the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and the elders. These was God worshipers. These was God worshipers that wanted to track Jesus down. They want to get him and crucify our Lord. These was God worshipers, but they did not know the true God that was in Christ, the God that's in Jesus. And Judas sold his mighty God for 30 pieces of silver. Today, my friend, don't sell, don't sell your Lord. Don't sell your God. Judas sold Jesus for 30 pieces of silver, which Thomas said, he's my Lord, he's my God. Don't sell your Lord and don't sell your God. Philip said, show us the Father so it will satisfy us. Do you want to be satisfied? Do you want to see God? Do you want to worship God in spirit and truth and serve Him only? Then look in the face of Jesus. And Jesus said, why even ask? When you see me, you have seen the Father. Let's worship Him today here on Full of Grace Ministry. Let's worship God Almighty in Jesus. In Jesus. We come to you, God Almighty, in the name of your Son, Jesus for we know you're not beside him. You're not in front of him or behind him. You're in him because Jesus is the first and he's the last. He's the almighty God. He's the prince of peace. He's the king of kings and he's the Lord of lords. Oh, Lord, my God, we worship you, oh, full of grace ministries. We worship you and you only God. And we call you by your name, Jesus. Jesus, oh glory, glory, glory. Jesus is our Lord, our God. 